Hey everyone, let's talk about Dynamic Tau, the most exciting development in the decentralized AI space. If you're an investor, you definitely want to stick around for this. First off, let's talk root validators. Originally, they and subnet validators were supposed to reach equal rewards in about 65 days post-launch. But guess what? That's now extended to around 76.7 days due to evolving network conditions. This longer timeline means root validators are still dumping into liquidity pools, putting sell pressure on subnet tokens. But over time, strong subnets will rise. Projects with real-world AI utility, solid teams, and incentives for holders will attract demand. Is it too long for stability? Maybe. But it's something to watch. Long term, this is bullish. Once the transition is complete, subnets should be self-sustaining economies, and Tau's role as the base layer will strengthen. Now onto something really exciting, staking APY. Thanks to DTAO, we're seeing new users bidding up subnet token prices like never before. Combined subnet valuations now exceed 2.16 Tau, which means staking Tau currently earns over two times the pre dtau APY. This is one of the best aspects of DTAO, it incentivizes holding while creating subnet demand. All right, subnet owners, listen up. It's time to build more than just speculation. First, give token holders some real utility. Don't just rely on hype. Take a look at bag as bandwidth. One subnet owner is already making this a reality. Second, market your subnet. No one will buy what they don't know exists. Be loud, be seen, build your brand, simple as that. People have no idea how big this is yet. BitTensor is evolving into a full stack, decentralized AI ecosystem in real time. We've got Subnet 64 for Decentralized AWS Lambda, Subnet 51 for Decentralized Compute, Subnet 4 for Decentralized Inference, Subnet 3 for Decentralized Training, and Subnet 13 for Decentralized Data Collection. This isn't just theory, it's live and in production today. Liquidity in the Tau pool is steadily growing, thanks to root to subnet migrations. As time goes on, slippage will drop significantly, making trading more efficient. OTF is upgrading pools from V1 to V3 soon allowing for additional providers and better price execution. Initial trading volume was explosive, but it's now stabilizing. We're talking roughly 100K moving through the network every 20 minutes with a total volume of 92 million since launch. This is a historic moment for BitTensor, the biggest upgrade in its history, equivalent to Ethereum's merge but launched in under a year. Every subnet now has its own fair launch token and protocol native liquidity pool. Subnets start with a 21 million cap, the same as Tau, and each starts with the same FDV of about 8.6 billion on block one. However, expect heavy valuation corrections as these subnets are nowhere near that value yet. Understanding root proportion is crucial. Early subnet tokens are being dumped because a big share of alpha tokens are rewarded to root stakers instead of active alpha holders. These tokens are swapped into Tau and sold through liquidity pools, creating constant early sell pressure on subnet tokens. Day 1 sees about 20% of each subnet's daily emissions dumped, dropping to around 18% by day 7. This sell pressure decreases over time, but the early weeks will be rough, so. So what's my strategy? Patience, over hype. I'm keeping my Tau staked to the root for now since initial subnet valuations are inflated. I expect prices to drop initially so I'll buy in later, or a small DCA strategy. I'm also closely watching subnet fundamentals. Not all subnets will survive, some will 100x, some will go to zero. Treat this like a liquid venture investment. It's long-term positioning, not quick flips. Expect extreme volatility in the first weeks. Low liquidity plus high volatility equals high risk. If you don't understand the mechanics, you'll get wrecked. Final thought, this is just the beginning. I'm more bullish than ever. The winners in DTAO will be the ones who play the long game. Study subnets, find the builders, ignore the hype. Strong thesis-driven positions will pay off. This is the next evolution of decentralized AI economics. Bottom line is expect subnet tokens to remain cheap in the early phase, but once emissions shift and the best projects prove their worth, the real winners will emerge. And we're just getting started. So let's go. It's a new era for AI and decentralization. Thanks for watching. If you found this insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Catch you in the next one.